want to tell you about Resources and Waste UK. It's a new partnership body bringing together CIWM, the professional institution at the heart of this industry, and the Environmental Services Association, the trade association at the heart of the industry. We've been working together closer and closer over several years and we've recognised two things. Firstly, we agree on an awful lot of priorities and the responses to them. And secondly, that we're much louder when we speak together. Now, partnership is clearly a byword for the future. We agree on so much. We'll be looking actively to link up with other partners around the industry, but Resources and Waste UK has come together with a specific need to speak loudly. We need to speak as the voice of the sustainable waste and resource management industry. And we've particularly taken the opportunity of the new incoming government to launch our first major document on policy priorities. Uh, and it's aimed at the government, not just what the government should do in the next few weeks or the next few months. This is for the lifetime of the government. And we want them to work with other UK governments. We want them to work with other partners, the European Union. We want a joint response. We want a joint response because this industry has got a fabulous opportunity to offer if it's got the right support. This isn't an industry that's just calling for do this and it will be much nicer for our industry. We've got so much to offer to all of the other sectors around us. Some great work done by RAP and the Green Alliance earlier on this year estimated that in the UK alone somewhere between 50,000 and 250,000 net high value jobs in addition through embracing the circular economy in this country. The European Union itself estimates that greater resource efficiency, greater resource security can offer up to 3% onto the bottom line of businesses. 3%. How hard would businesses work for an additional 3% on the bottom line? And that's not just our sector, sustainable waste and resource management, that's everybody's sector, from meat pie manufacturing to banking. We can't deliver that as an industry on our own. We need a government and governments that are prepared to support us and prepared to go into bat for us. And that's why we've come out with our priority document. And we've come up with six initial priorities that we want governments to sit up and take notice of. And I'll reel them off pretty quickly. First is recycling. Recycling collection, recycling performance across the UK is starting to plateau out. And in some places, we suspect over the next couple of years, it might even go backwards. It needs boosting. We need to pick up best practice from where best practice is. We need to spread it. We want government support. The second priority to support that one is we need markets. We need strong, reliable markets for materials at the right quality, the right place, the right time. And we'd like those to be UK markets, not always reliant on overseas export markets. We, in the UK, should be making maximum economic advantage of the stuff that we've got. Now then, to allow us to do that, priority number three, we need the right mix of infrastructure and services. And getting the right mix of infrastructure and services relies on timely and reliable data. The ability to turn data into information and the ability to turn information into understanding. Trying to provide the right mix of services and infrastructure to provide a more circular economy can't be done by guesswork. Priority number four. It's a pretty obvious one. This is not an industry that compete with criminals. We must stamp out waste crime, and that needs action by everybody. Priority number five. We need to see a stronger, coordinated approach by governments working together and by government departments working together. We need tangible proof because there is no one obvious department, there's no one obvious policy lead. Sustainable waste and resource management, resource efficiency has become something that affects every sector and we need to see tangible proof of government departments working together. The policy momentum for the last decade or more has come from Europe, will continue to come from Europe. Regardless of what our political uh, position is in Europe over the next two to five years, we need a government that's prepared to go into bat for us in Europe. We've got to be in there, we've got to be influencing the way that the circular economy package is going to be put together, because whether we're inside of Europe, on the edge of Europe, outside of Europe, we will be towing the line in terms of policy, in terms of standards, and it will shape the future for our industry. Those are the six points. They're all in our policy document. The policy document has been timed to come out uh, with the, uh, the new government. 
Uh, if you haven't seen it already, it's on our brand new Resources and Waste UK uh, website. That is www.resourcesandwaste.co.uk. Look out for the document. It's our first, it certainly won't be our last. We want input, we'll be actively looking for other partners. But above all, we need to speak with one coordinated voice. We need more noise, we need to influence.